So by now, we all know the GoPro Hero 11 is all kinds of awesome. And one of the coolest new features is vehicle lights. Vehicle lights combines time lapse with long exposure photography to produce results like this. There are three different options in vehicle lights depending on how long you want the light trails to be. Short, long and max. So Georgie and me headed into London to test out this new feature. Now when we got to London, it was really foggy and it looked really cool, so we thought it'd be a really cool idea to put the GoPro on the floor like this, on the shorty mount, point it towards Big Ben, and then we'd get like the cool London buses coming past and everything. But it didn't work out because it turns out it was too bright. Then we mounted it on the dashboard and somehow managed to go into hyperspace. It was at this point we realised we need to adjust the settings. So we did what all filmmakers do when they need to adjust the camera settings and went for pizza. So after that, we attached the Hero 11 onto the Ulanzi Go Quick 2 tripod to give us more flexibility over the height we were shooting from while keeping the GoPro nice and steady. And if you want to know more about the Go Quick 2, I've done a full review on it and I'll post it at the end of this video. So we moved around London, setting the GoPro up in a few different cool locations to capture some vehicle lights. We've ended up in Cafe Concerto because... The Concerto hot chocolates are quite nice. Hot chocolate B-roll. So with the correct settings dialed in, using the GoQuick 2 and the right locations, the end result looks like this. If you want to grab any of the gear mentioned in this video, I've got links in the description where you can pick it all up. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.